Hey everyone, it's Joe. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Today we have a very last minute video. I'm about to head on a flight in like three hours and I'm filming this, but I wanted to show you my travel journal setup and my travel journaling setup. So some of the supplies that I'm bringing. Just a disclaimer, I'm not bringing any checked luggage and I like to pack pretty lightly. Um, not with my clothes though, I'm really bad at um, packing lightly with clothes, but everything else I'm pretty good at pairing things back. Um, so I'll walk you through everything, um, but we'll get started with the Traveler's Notebook and then we'll go into the Delphonics. This can actually uh, fit in here, so I'll just show you that this was originally in here oh my gosh i'm doing a bad job of showing it but it was originally in here um and it fits uh, but i realized that for me when i travel i like having my traveler's notebook out and about because that's where i keep my passport so there you go just showing you that everything fits in here nicely it's a bit snug but if i really wanted to i can keep everything in here nice and secure and compact um, but we'll get started so this is the first one that i'm going to show you this is the uh, this is a spoiler alert i have an in-depth video that i was supposed to edit together before this video but i got a new traveler's notebook all i won't go into too much detail because that's the point of the other video but this is the fifth edition camel traveler's notebook uh, this was released in 2011 this is my unicorn notebook that i've been looking for and this is going to be my first travel with it i'm i've already scuffed it up i already poured accidentally got some water on it so um it is ready for its uh maiden voyage i guess you could say um but I have this first thing in here is this um, this uh, DIY that I made. This is actually a clear folder that I cut open and added um, these uh, flaps to make it like a clear folder. So I just have some stickers here, some date stickers and some icon stickers. I could go really overboard with this, but I thought I'll ac accumulate a lot of ephemera. So I just kept this low key have my passport in here very important and then this has the integrated pen loop here so uh, instead of having a fountain pen here i actually just have my favorite pen this is the uni jetstream multi ball in the more black in the olive green colorway so this just has 70 percent more black this is nice because this can write on any surface and i feel like when traveling you just need a ballpoint pen and not even a gel pen so you can write on any of the surfaces that you need to um, this one's always reliable and then i have a few um, sticky notes here just because uh, just in case I need to like write or jot down a little note to myself so I just have oh to pack list I'm just gonna do this right now I already packed my Apple watch charger and my Osmo charger add more medicine to medicine pouch oh, that's something I still need to do gotta make sure you have gravel um, so you don't get sick on the airplane um and then i have this have a nice trip uh fly to the world from japan this is a limited edition into that came with my um narita airport travelers notebook um from like 2016 so it still has the midori stamping or maybe 2015 um i thought i would finally just use this um i know i'm not going to japan but i am going to san francisco so that's um you know still a travel um that i wanted to document so this is a nice travel themed one and then i have um the b-sides and rarities waxed cotton zipper pouch this is in the orange colorway um i have a bunch of um of like p washi samples here um this is all i'm bringing so i'm not bringing any other ephemera um only the stuff that can fit in here i have stamp stamped goodies in here um like they're just um images from um actually these are not from stamps that i own these are from um happy mail but i thought i would bring them over because they're nice and unique and i can still share there's quite a bit of them i put them in this king jim um folder here um and then we have um some more samples from friends and then i have two kita tapes here um over here and then this one this one everyone says i stole it but i didn't this is from paper yeah they gave this to me when i visited one day that's why it says store use but i feel like i have to explain myself every time um and then i have more washi samples on both sides um and they, i try to choose like very neutral ones or ones with like very um very simple patterns and then here um i have more i have more notepads 
um, I have oh, some torn paper and then I have some PET tape samples in the back here not a whole bunch but I actually have some of my cash in here I don't know for me it's a little bit of a travel hack that I've learned from my parents for, for, for ages already but they always say that to keep you should keep your cash in multiple places so you know if something gets lost it's not all in one thing it's not all in your wallet so i like to keep my cash distributed through my my luggage and my bags and i've never lost anything you just need to be mindful and remember where you keep it um, that's the only thing uh, but yeah that's my main travel journal setup i know there's a, a few stamping spots there so i need to be mindful of maybe bringing a paper pad or i was thinking maybe i'll pick up what when I'm, I'm there in sf i'll just buy some white post-it notes so I can just um, stamp on those. Um, but that's one thing that I haven't really thought of yet. Um, we'll go into the next thing. I, I'm gonna bring, I know it's overkill, but I am gonna do, be meeting a lot of people from the journaling community and Twitch community over there. Um, a lot of us are flying and meeting each other there. Um, so I'm bringing my um, Passport Size Traveler's Notebook. This just has actually a short trip insert, which is nice. I've never used a short trip insert, but I'll use it for this time. I just have another DIY that I made with the clear folder so I can bring a pencil. And then I just have um, like more uh, stickers and um, ephemera in, in here. I actually have less stuff in here, but it's nice that I can fill it in and I'm thinking maybe I can yeah bring this um, with me um, and actually I've been toying around with this I left this center column oh no never mind I left my this center column so I can slide my passport in here but I think I'm just gonna keep it in my tra regular size traveler's notebook and then since plotter will be there I wanted to bring my plotter just in case so I can like try on different accessories but this is my everyday carry planner right so it's um, nice to just have this with me um, let me just put this back on because I, I moved back into this I was using my other um, mini five cover but I thought I would bring this over and this is one of the fountain pens that I wanted to bring this is the um what is this the pro gear slim mini a sailor pro gear slim mini from the morocco series um so i had these together they're pretty thin so they're not too bulky so they go in the back and then i have this over here um i'll just take these out just i'm just bringing a few stamps that some people um in the journaling um community might not have so i'm bringing some journal as altar uh stamps and then this is my favorite stamp of all time uh, this is a Big Hands uh, stamp from the, the brand Big Hands, uh, Taiwanese creator. And then this is from Aaron, Journalist Alter. Um, just three stamps. And then I thought I would bring something um, that people don't really have. So I have the Mr. Softy ice cream um, collab uh, tapes from Traveler's Company. Bought these in 2017 when they had the collab and I purchased them in store at the Traveler's Factory Nakamegaro. And I just brought a tiny Versa Craft um, in case some people want to stamp with this. But this is super pared down. This is pretty much the only stuff that I'm bringing and all of the ephemera in my Traveler's Notebook regular size. I really want to keep it like a very, very low key. The last thing in here are, actually I'm gonna do myself a favor right now um, since we are on camera. This is my LG pocket printer. Um, this has no more um, refills. So I'm just gonna put this in and actually this is the wrong refill um, sheet. This is actually, um, it's hard to find the LG proprietary brand one, so I just bought this. Is this Polaroid? I don't even know. I'm just going to still put... It says... It's still the same technology. It says zinc paper, so it's a heat technology printer, not... Um, it doesn't have um, actual, like, pigment ink in it. So that's just refilled, and then I just have a USB mini um, charger there just in case. So I'll bring this just because I want to print photos. Um, usually I print photos from my photo printer, but uh, I'm going to bring all 30 here just in case people need to print quite a bit. Um, and I also have a power bank if I need to charge that. So the last thing in here is actually Traveler's Company clip to open my Traveler's Notebook open. And then this is my main pencil case that I'm bringing with me. Um, 
and I kind of beefed it up a little bit. So um, I swapped out, instead of having three fountain pens here, I only have one. I'm only bringing two fountain pens. That's kind of ridiculous, the pen show. I initially had this in my setup, but I just realized I don't need to bring this. Um, I'm there to enjoy the the my moments there with friends and sightsee. Um, and I feel like bringing things that could get lost could be potentially scary and I don't want to lose these pens. So I'm just going to keep them here. Um, and you know what? It's just more opportunities to purchase pens, right? Um, but I have, um, I'll just close, do a little close up. So in the back, I have a reusable like paper towel from uh, Som. Um, it's a, I think it's like a Swedish brand, but um, you can use these for like 56 times before they disintegrate and then you can compost it. I have a uni, um, uni, Uniball 1F um, trusty jet, uh, gel pen. I have Tombow Fudenosuke in the, it's a brush pen in the hard tip. I have a plotter pencil. It's one of my fancier pencils. Um, and then I have the uni ball, no, pilot multi ball. This can write on any surface. And then I have the um, uni pin. So it's my fine liner. It's a good alternative to um, the Sakura um, Pigma Microns, if you're into that. I have one more uni ball jet, no, uh, what is this called? Uni jet stream more black. This is in the berry colorway. This is the same pen that's in my traveler's notebook trustworthy ballpoint pen um smoothest ballpoint pen also um i have a water brush um and then i have my coeco collection um olive uh fountain pen with a medium nib um with some i think i have a j herban vert olive in here which is a really lovely ink and then i have my um lovely lovely travel palette from travelers company x um art toolkit this is their pocket palette and then i just have some daniel smith Gecko so and some Daniel Smith. No, Ooh, did I say that? Yeah, Daniel Smith and Windsor Newton and Gecko so in here. Um, which I, I don't know if I'll use this much, but it's nice to bring and it's super tiny too. Um, all you really need is just this water brush, right? And then I have um, a stash of, um, I don't know why I'm bringing two whiteouts, but I'm bringing um, cream whiteout, regular white whiteout. I have, I always have a USB in here just in case we need it. Um, I have two erasers, a kneaded eraser and the clear seed eraser from Radar, which is a really nice, um, I like the, the Radar erasers. And then I have a Kokuyo dot liner. I wonder how long this will last, but I can always buy one at Kinokuniya, which is one of the places I really want to visit. And obviously a glue stick. This is the GLOO um, glue stick. It's a square one. Um, this is by Kokuyo. This is the only glue. Well, I, I don't really like glue sticks, but I love that glue stick because it smells really good. <laughs> and that's it. I feel like I packed not too bad this is definitely bulkier than i go for like when i travel um well when i bring this pencil case outside of my house this is usually not as bulky as this but i think it's actually not too bad um honestly if i um really wanted to i would probably not bring these stamps but i do want to bring these stamps to share with friends and stuff um but yeah, it's not it's not too bad. I think it could definitely be a lot more intense in terms of you know bringing more things. But I wanted to keep it nice and simple and lightweight. And I don't know. I have a feeling that I I know I'm gonna hang out and journal with friends. But um, at the same time, um, there's a lot of local friends there who gl will gladly have um, supplies that I can share. That they, oh, I, that, wow, that doesn't make sense. I'm sure they'll share their supplies. I don't have scissors because I don't have any travel scissors, but that's okay. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Um, we can always we can always um, get a nice pair of those travel scissors. I actually don't have a pair. I had one in my cart when I went to Omumu, but um, that's in another video, my previous video. But yeah, I think that's it. I should probably get going um, and, you know, 
I'm all packed up, but I still should probably double check my supplies and stuff. Um, so I should get going. Um, but uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Job's Journal um, to follow the SF Pen Show um, travels as well as just general San Francisco uh, travel um, bits. I'll also be filming um, a vlog that I hope to upload on this channel um, when I get back. As well as if you're interested in seeing live content, um, I will be doing some possible Instagram lives and Twitch um, mobile streams um, at the pen show. So be sure to check out social media, especially Instagram stories, if you want to, you know, come and virtually hang out in San Francisco with some of the journaling friends that you probably know in the community too. Okay, I will see you in the next one. Until then, please take care. Please be safe. I love you so much. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.